Hi guys, this is an update on the Haps and Lind air liquefier project. Uh, now that the electric car is done, uh, I can finally get a chance to uh, work on this. So I've drawn up a uh, complete diagram of the system here just so I know uh, everything that's required. Uh, all the things with green checks are things that I've ordered, so those should be coming in within the next few weeks. Uh, by far the hardest thing to find was this uh, coalescing uh, filter. I was talking to another YouTube user and he was agreeing with me that the uh, hardest part of this project is going to be cleaning up the oily output of the air compressor and removing the uh, moisture. And I was able to find a uh, coalescing uh, oil separating filter which should do perfectly for this application. After a lot of searching I finally came across a uh, Parker HN1S-6CN coalescing oil filter and uh, this one's special in that it's rated for uh, 500 psi working pressure. It looks something like this. Um, this is sort of this di diagram of how it works. The air comes in the center, goes through the coalescing element which according to them is a very fine glass fiber coated with epoxy. The oil droplets sort of stick to that and then drip down into the sump while the air goes up uh, and out. So that's a big uh, thing, finding the proper filter. And all, I've also ordered a bunch of other uh, things. Let's see, various things like uh, relief, some relief valves. This one, I'm going to try this uh, Henry refrigerant relief valve as the main uh, val um, pre constant pressure drop valve. Hopefully it'll work at that low temperature. Um, various pressure reliefs and some pressure gauges. And for dehumidification I think I'm just going to try a uh, loop of tube inside an ice water bath or maybe a refrigerated chiller to condense all the uh, water out of the air. Hopefully it'll be enough. Um, another suggestion I got was to use a dry ice bath and that would definitely it would pull way way more uh, water out of the air. However, I did a calculation and uh, with a, just a refrigerated or zero degrees Celsius chiller like this with, at uh, the high pressure, because this is on the discharge of the compressor, that should um, remove enough air so that, I think I did a quick calculation, it was something like one milliliter of water would make it through for every 10 or, 10 or was it 50 kilograms of air produced, so I'm not too worried about it. I mean. If I have to turn it off every 50 liters of air, that wouldn't be that uh, bad if you turn it off to defrost. I did get one of the items in. This is not the coalescing filter, this is just uh, this initial filter water separator. This also has a regulator on it. This, uh, so some of the stuff is starting to come in, although I think it'll be up to a couple of weeks before uh, all the stuff is in. And then we can really get going. The timing is actually perfect having all these parts on order because I'm going out for a vacation uh, soon. I'm actually flying out tomorrow for the uh, theme park review um, Northeast and Road to Cedar Point tours. Basically a bunch of people chartered a bus and we're going around to a bunch of theme parks in the Northeastern and Central United States. So that's going to be exciting. Hopefully I'll be able to post some videos from there. Uh, and then when I get back all these parts will be in and I can get started on this uh, air liquefier. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.